Hey everybody, what's up? This is Exelgit Sniper. I'm gonna be doing a little, you know, Sony Vegas tutorial, maybe some render settings for you so you know so you can get the best quality that you can. Alright, so what I have here, I just have a little uh clip. Alright, I'm I'm just saying it's I'm not modding, I'm squirrel shooting. It's a thing you use that you can do on a PC. So this is the clip. Not much going on, I just get one kill, then I get a second with pistol. Okay. Now once you do that, then what I suggest you go to Project Video Properties, which is right up here, or when you go to File and go to New, it'll come up there. So what you do, uh, you can make this a template if you want. Um, you go to HDV 1080 60i 1440 by 1080, okay? Which is that one right there. You can go to Width 1440 by 1080. Field order is going to do upper field first. The pixel aspect ratio, you can do HDV 1080 1.3. Okay, it's going to be the bottom one down here. I just think this is for Sony Vegas Pro 8.0, but I'm sure that this will work for uh, Sony Vegas 9. Okay, you can do 32 bit floating point, 2.2 video, best of course, because you want the best quality. Motion blur, uh, Gaussian blur, I think that's how you say it. I'm not that sure. But I find that just the best way to do it. And no uh, de interlace method, just do none. Okay? Then you're just gonna go to wherever um, your file is. Or I'm not sure you have to do that. And then you can just go to start all new projects with this setting. Alright, so then you hit apply. Okay, so now every single project that you do will come up as this. Alright, so when you do all your editing and stuff, I'm not going to do um, the editing for it right now, but I'm sure I'll put up an editing tutorial for this. It's a little short one. Um, you're going to want to go to File, Render As. What I normally do is Render Loop Region Only, which pretty much means that anything kind of highlighted is where it goes to. Just and then what you're going to want to do is just save this to wherever you want, but don't you save yet. You're going to go all the way down for save as type Windows Media Video V9.wmv. You're going to want to go to that template. I have a template here for my Dazzle settings. Um, I use this for my Dazzle and also for PC. So I get root. This is a PC that I'm on right now, and as you can see, it's very nice quality. Uh, maybe you can't tell, but from where I am, I'll probably post it up on YouTube so you can see the difference it makes. Then what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna go to custom, you're just gonna before you do that, you're just gonna go to default template. Actually no no. Go to six MBPS, alright? And or you can do default, doesn't really matter, I don't know what I'm saying right now. And then what you can do, you go to custom, you wanna go to video rendering quality, you want it to be the best, obviously. You want uh, you want to include audio, C B R Windows Media Audio 9.2. You want that. You don't want the professional. It, it may look, you know, like it may sound like that you want it, but you don't want that. You want the 9.2. Then this is what I use. It's I use 128, and then yeah, this one right here, <laughs> right there with the 44 kHz. Next, you're gonna go to video. I use CBR format Windows Media Video 9, which is what we did the save as type before. Um, what you want for YouTube to recognize it as HD, you want 1280 by 720. That's what you want. You're going to want the pixel aspect ratio to be square, or if you want, mm, I, I haven't really tried this, but if you want to try it, go ahead and just see what difference it makes. But I always use that. You're going to want this at NTSC 29.9. Uh, seconds per keyframe, you're going to want 5. And override default compression buffer, I keep it at 8. And video smoothness, it depends on what you want. I have, like, my gameplay is not that laggy, so I just keep it at sharpest that it's also going to be smooth and sharp. If you want the lowest, I would bring it is maybe 90. That's as low as I would ever take it. You do that. Bit rate, I doesn't, well, it doesn't really matter. So here you hit OK, and then you're going to hit Save. Alright, now what that's going to do, that's going to start rendering it. I already rendered it, so this is what it came out to be.
Probably gonna look a bit laggy for you guys, but that's what I got on mine. That's what it looks like, and you can try this out for yourself. And you can just, you know, see what type of quality you're getting. Alright, so make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'm probably going to be getting up another Sony Vegas, well, I'm going to get up my first Sony Vegas editing tutorial. Let me see how that goes. Alright, so make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.